Hello everyone. So in my previous lecture, I gave an introduction to chapter 4, which is moving charges and magnetism. And in that chapter, I explained about how magnetic fields are produced around a current carrying conductor and what is its nature or shape. So in this, in this lecture, we will try to give a mathematical formulation of the same. We will try to derive a mathematical formula telling us about the strength of the magnetic field produced around a current carrying conductor. And it was experimentally done by two physicists, Bio and Savarts, and it is known as Bio Savarts law. So, so this law is used to determine the strength of magnetic field at any point due to a current carrying conductor. So you can see in the figure, this is a current carrying conductor. Okay, this is a conductor which is carrying a current I in the upward direction. Okay, so uh, let us consider an elemental length of the uh, conducting wire, this AB, okay, whose length is DL. Okay, so uh, it is just a small, very small portion of the wire, very small. Okay, and let us consider a point P. Okay, this is the point P, which is at a distance r, small r, from the point C. This is the point C, which is the center of the element DL. Okay, so P is at a distance r. And so we have to find the magnetic field intensity or the strength, how strong it is at that point P. Because this conductor is carrying current I, of course, there will be magnetic field around it okay so we we want to find the strength of this field at any random points of p what is it so they did they studied it experimentally bio and server they studied it experimentally and they obtained that they uh, experimented with various factors and they concluded that the magnetic field strength db okay why we are using db because we are considering the length to be dl dl means elemental length a very small length okay it is very 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 infinitesimally small so since the length is infinitesimally small therefore either magnetic field strength will also be infinitesimally small that that's why we are using db so it was found that the magnetic field strength db was directly proportional to dl okay the strength was directly proportional to the elemental length dl uh, if the length is more db will be more if the length is less db will be less and it was directly proportional to current i also if current is more the strength is also more then it was proportional to sine of theta now theta is the angle between this r and this length dl the length is along upward and one thing you remember that dl is a vector quantity you can see the vector symbol okay dl is a vector quantity so of course uh, it has the direction and its direction is along the direction of i since my i is in upward direction so dl is also in upward direction and r is in right side so theta is the angle between r and dl okay so uh, it was found that db was proportional to sine of theta sine of that angle between dl and r and but it was inversely proportional to r square where r is the distance this length cp so it was of course it is inversely proportional if r is more db will be less yes or no if r is here near here somewhere of course db will be very high because strength will be more the strength of field will be more here it will gradually keep on decreasing okay we we know it from our own observation also okay so we obtain the formula that db is proportional to i dl sin theta by r square combining all these four therefore db equal to if we have to remove this proportional sign we have to use a proportional constant that's why it is uh, we have used a constant k so db equal to k i dl sin theta by r square where k is a proportionality constant and its value is found to be mu naught by 4 pi where mu naught is known as absolute permeability of free space or vacuum okay mu naught is a constant and it is the permeability in earlier electrostatic chapter you have you have seen permittivity it is similar to that only permeability physically it means that permeability is like how easily magnetic field can pass through a medium 
ओके पार्मिबिलिटी इज लाइक दैट लाइक पार्मिटिविटी ओनली ओके फिजिकली इट इज दैट एंड मेथेमेटिकली म्यूनट इज फोर पाई इन टू टेन टू दि पार माइनास सेवेन ओके टेस्ला मिटा पार एम्पेयर ओके देर इज एनिट अल्सो टेस्ला मिटा पार एम्पेयर दिस इज दूनिट अफ म्यूनट ओके सो दिस इज वाट बायोसवर लज ओके 